Hello guys, today we do have Atalanta in the league, so let's get into it, let's cue that intro. Oh no, and welcome back to the Lazio career mode, and it's me, Dan, back again, and today uh, we've got Atalanta, and then we've got a couple games in the league, and we do have our first cup, uh, first cup game in the Super Italia Cup. Um, uh, Super Coppa Italia I think it's called uh, is it called that? I'm pretty sure it is isn't it? Uh, yeah, the, yeah the Coppa Italia um, but anyway yeah so just before we start I just want to say thank you guys for all the recent likes and comments recently and I just want to say thank you to all new subscribers for subscribing so thank you guys for that as well and if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button please hit that subscribe button as it does really help and don't forget to like the video as well because you know the videos get will get into the algorithm a bit more and stuff like that so thank you guys for that so um looking at obviously we are in january i still don't think we need any more sign-ins i think we are pretty much good all over the place um you know uh, strakosha lewis felipe okay that he's still an 80 but i think we're good all over the place and hopefully fingers crossed uh that'll be good for this season to hopefully win a league and it looks like uh, we are on track for winning the league unless uh, unless something happens like we did in the last episode if you didn't see the last episode i uh yeah i would definitely go recommend it because uh we got two uh surprise losses um so yeah that was weird uh anyway let's get into today's episode uh, we got the press conference against atalanta let's do that first and then we'll get into the game um i think we will hopefully get the three points and we need to get a clean sheet as well um i think we still need three more at home so yeah we'll visual sim this one um obviously because atalanta are a good team in the syria so let's see if we can you know get three points against them so let's do the first team against them and hopefully start off this episode with a victory so let's go on and let's see uh, so obviously we're in the light blue they're in the dark blue uh, but fingers crossed we won't have to jump in <laughs> uh you know i hate to be quite colorblind i really do um i I feel sorry for all the colorblind people and, um you know it's, it's all different i know there's all different colorblinds and all that um colorblind types um you like the red green isn't it um one's gray and black or something um but yeah to play this i think there is a colorblind mode for fifa 22 as well so um I don't know. Anyway, uh, it, <laughs> I'm a bit of a weird turn I just took there. But anyway, uh, yeah, we started pretty all right. Um, they had a shot, just went over the crossbar. We just had a shot as well. Um, that was straight at the goalkeeper. Let's see if we can get something from this. Um, we are playing pretty well. Um, we are controlling the ball. Uh, we haven't done much with it, though. Oh, that is Anthony with a the shot there. It's unlucky. Right, let's see if we can get a goal. Oh, let's oh or not. We're gonna pass it into them. And they're on the counter attack now. Obviously, Atalanta, they play three at the back. I I hate playing teams with three at the back. It really does annoy me, especially in the uh, visual sim. They uh, they always seem to do very well against uh teams of mine and uh hopefully, fingers crossed, we ain't got a we ain't gonna do that today. <laughs> um but let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. That's a good save. Corner. Come on, guys, get defended. Uh, well, I was going to say, get defenders corner, but uh, Anana's made it his, so there we go. We'll take that. Right, um, back into midfield. Oh, I don't know what's happening there, but good play. Uh, we've got the interception, and Kunku... Oh, he hasn't scored for quite a while, actually, in Kunku. Uh, nor has Gabriel Jesus, so I have to watch out for that. Um, we're playing good football, but we're not doing much with it. Oh, almost into and Kunku there. It's unlucky, right. How, wait, isn't that not our ball? I swear we uh, he kicked it out, but obviously we must have touched uh, the player must have touched it for their throwing. They're playing good football here. Good tackle, good block. That's a yellow card for Gaia. We have to watch out for that. Mendy is struggling at right back. Um, we'll just have to watch out for that. So at half time, it is nil nil. Four shots to two, four shots two on target. Three shots two on target. Fifty two to forty eight. Um, so not much really. Anana's on an eight point two so let's continue on and let's see if we can get a result from somewhere uh, because we do need to get a result today against Atalanta because 
We are only five points clear still. So, oh, we're through with Nkunku and he dribbles through and he scores. And that is the perfect start to the second half. And Nkunku's back on winning, uh, scoring. He's back scoring, which is which we love to see. Um, oh, I was going to say, that was a good play from them. And that was a good catch from um, Onana there. So we just have to watch out for that. And the game has froze. Come on, game. You can do it. <laughs> Why is it froze? It's going to catch up eventually. There we go. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what it's ever since the update. It's all the recent update. All that's all it's been doing. It's been doing it in my other career modes as well, um, which is really annoying. Um, I don't think they've like updated anything, um, but yeah, we have to watch out for that. Uh, oh, what I was going to say. What was that back pass uh, for Milinkovic Savage? We have to watch out for that back pass in Malarkey. Right, got the interception. Good. Right on the ball is Vinicius. Down this left-hand side. Is he going to cross it in? He doesn't. Back to Marino. Oh, he, I think he tried to get it into Nkunku there. That's unlucky. Oh, Nkunku's got it. And then Vinicius Jr. has the strike and it's gone way wide. Um, right, let's make a substitution then. Um, I think Mendy is struggling. So we could bring on Tuchemeni, I guess. No. Um, I think we'll bring on Kunde there. And then we'll bring put Ndika there. Um, just to refresh in that defence, because Mendy was struggling there. Uh, but Kunde should be all right. He can play right back, so um, that's good to see. And obviously, we are not going to play a left-footed... Well, we're not going to play a left-footed uh, left-back at... Uh, oh, that was a good ball into... Uh, who is that? Zappa Costa. And, uh, yeah, that's... A, I don't know what's just happened there. That was a bit weird. Um, right, anyway, we've got the ball with Vinicius Jr. Back to Gabriel Jesus. Good play here. Keep going. To, oh, good play, and that is the second goal, and that is Gabriel Jesus with the goal. That is 2-0, and with that, we will make the last couple of substitutions. We'll bring on Tuchemeni, and we'll also bring on... Uh, I was going to bring on Soler, but I think we could bring on Soler, actually. Let's bring on Soler for Nkunku. Um, right, so yeah, 2-0. Let's just see if we can keep a clean sheet now, or if we can keep a clean sheet... That will be fantastic. It'll be another clean sheet counting towards that um, brand exposure um, objective. So let's see if we can do that. Oh, I was going to say we were going to counter there, but we decided to pass it back. Can we make it 3-0? Oh, oh, Jesus is there. Oh, unlucky. Oh, what was that, Kunde? Why did he back pass it there? Right, come on. Last couple of minutes. Don't, don't concede that's all we can say uh, just control the ball that would be helpful and there we go that's full time we have beaten atlanta 2-0 pretty close game actually six shots five on target five shots three on target 54 to 46 obviously and kunku and jesus in the second half with the goals anana's got an 8.4 so that is really good but and kunku gets man of the match with an 8.7 um but yeah that is good as well three points a clean sheet at home that will do. Thank you. Um, right, so on to the next game then, which is against Hellas Verona, I think. Uh, it is. And uh, Correa wants to play in this one. So um, we shall put the second team out. Hopefully that get the three points against Hellas Verona. Um, if they don't, then I will go crazy <laughs> no i won't go crazy but uh, oh jesus we will win four nil christ um yeah there we go four nil uh messiah gabriel jesus anthony and messiah again with the goals Soler missed a penalty so it should have been five nil uh but 57 to 43 in possession seven shots six on target two shots two on target um who gets man of the match is messiah with a 9.9 .9. so there we go we shall take that four nil Oh, my days. I uh, did not expect that. Um, right, so on to the press conference now then. Yeah, good play from Masaya. We'll have to watch out for him because I think we have got a couple of players who are getting to good overalls for this first team. I think um, Soler was an 84, if I'm not too mistaken. Um, so we have to watch out for that. Um, but hopefully, fingers crossed... You know, our first team players will go up a bit because uh, Moreno's only 85 and Soler's an 84. So we have to watch out for that. Um, right. Uh, yeah, thanks for the chance. I'm proud of you, Correa. 
he wanted to play and we played him so that's good right on to the next game then which is against uh copper attack what well, is the copper italia against uh lecce and the second team wants to play again sure why not um they they won in the last game so why not um so can they be lecce and oh christ they only just do um three to uh Correa with two goals does he get a hat trick no he doesn't Zaboslaw got the first goal but Coda and Ragusa with the late goals um Zaboslaw also missed a penalty uh but we should take that 55 to 45 six shots five on target four shots two on target so we won the game Correa with a 9.9 .9, so we shall take that that will do um right so on to the last game of the day which is against Sampdoria um actually we could see who we have in the next round of the Europa League as well let's see if we can see that and let's see if we well actually we might have the next round of the um of the cup as well I'm not too sure if we will or not but let's see yeah uh Crea had a good game because he got two goals didn't he so there we go and let's continue on so Chichi Menu uh it says thanks boss great performance that's good uh yeah right here we go match rescheduled so the juventus game's been moved and the lazio game's removed and we've got total prize money for the copper italia um right so wait have we got into milan as well in the same oh christ we do we <laughs> oh next episode we've got juventus and inter milan so look forward to that i think we will be playing both games because both games mean quite a lot especially in the league and in the uh and in the cup because obviously if we're going to win the cup we're going to have to beat the best uh right so can we finish off against sandoria with a victory no we can't <laughs> typical um eight shots six on target two shots one on target 60 40 <sighs> i think their goalkeeper no their goalkeeper wasn't man of match i was going to say uh, yeah, Caputo and Gabriel Jesus with the goals. Um, eight shots, six on target. And we did not... Uh, two points dropped there, I think. Really does annoy me to finish the episode off with a, 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 like a draw that we should have should have won. Um, that's annoying. Um, well, at least we didn't lose. But yeah, there's two points dropped there. Um, that's annoying. Yeah, the momentum seemed that we were going to you know get the goals but we just didn't um yeah that was just that was just lucky i think that was just unlucky that we didn't you know get the results that we needed thank you i will not take any more questions thank you right uh masaya says thanks boss for playing him i'm proud of you right so there we go uh right so that is going to be it for today guys next time we will be back for the juventus game um so look forward to that we are still five points clear of inter milan so that's good to see um so hopefully fingers crossed you know the game against juventus will go well and ho hopefully fingers crossed the game against inter milan will go well as well um so anyway guys that is going to be it for today so please like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. So right, guys, I'm going. Bye.